Before beginning this import from Unpaywall, I want to show you something important on Helen's profile. So I will go to Edit Profile underneath her photograph. And in Name Variant, I will add a name variant because she has a different default publishing name. And I want to make sure that that is entered before I do any type of import. And whenever you're making changes to your profile, always remember to click the blue save button at the bottom. So now I will click add new. I can see the option for on paywall right there, the green button. I can search by DOI and Scopus or on paywall. I just chose on paywall this time. This is the article that I want to add. So first I have to find the DOI and copy it. And then I will go back to my import window and paste in the DOI and click search. This is the article I'm looking for. So I click import and I get brought to the first review screen. So here is a list of authors. They will be marked external or internal. I can match them up as best as possible. When it says it's a match, that just means that it is already in the profile system. Remember that for our purposes, the most important one is the one that is marked as an internal person, which would be Malloy faculty members. And in that case, this is the, the last author, Helen. And you can see when I go to the column on the left, that's her publishing name. That is why I made sure it was added before I started the import process. This will bring you to the standard submission form. So once again, just checking information and adding any additional optional information. So this article does have an article number, giving a glance at the authors again, making sure they're in the correct order. You can copy and paste the abstract into the submission form since that did not come over during the import process. The managing organizational unit can be Helen's department or the faculty member's department or Malloy University. This particular publication does have a volume number, so I will type that in. Checking the DOI or the link that imported over, this is a closed publication, so it says closed. It is not an open access publication. You can add keywords and disciplines, keywords typed in individually, disciplines, you can search for them or open up the broader subject areas and scroll down to find them. When you think you're done, remember to mark the submission for approval. If you need to work on it some more, you can check it as entry in progress and then click save. If you want to check your work, go back to your profile, click on one of the options under scholarship. When the list comes up, you can sort by modification date. The newest one that you added should be up top. You can see that it's listed as for approval. 